Give it, give it, give it to Eddie Cavani. You were supposed to leave it on him and let him just dance, and then I was going to yeah, do yeah, that. We love seeing Steve dance on I TikTok. I am fucking double mega happy that he signed. Double mega happy. I ain't even got pants on. I'm fucking hell, you haven't as well. No, it's dirty, boy. It's w- at least it's warm in here. Yeah, it's just a bit. <laughs> yeah, he's all right, isn't he, old Eddie Cavani? Not it's bad. good, isn't it? It's good that he's signed. Um, delighted that he's signed, to be honest with you. I was saying it a couple of weeks ago, Cavani and Pogba need to get signed up. Because yeah. if we go into next season without Cavani and Pogba, we're not going to replace two steps go. back. And where we go from, if we keep Cavani and Pogba, we go, right, three signings, we can win the league. Not we will, we can. If we lose Pogba and Cavani, we go, <laughs> fuck. Five signings. Two signings just to get back to where we were last season. Yeah. Yeah. And then three more just to yeah, improve. Yeah. That ain't happening. So, yeah, man, great news that is. Uh, man! <laughs> and to, you know, he's a proper man as well. Yeah. <laughs> And I always talk about the 94 team as a team that I grew up like. That's the they were like superheroes. Is that your favourite team? It's, it's, it's yeah, up, yeah, it's my favourite team. It's, I'm not saying it's the best, best but my favourite. Favorite. The way they made yeah. me feel as a child watching football, I, I looked at them like, obviously Cantona was there, but I looked at them like superheroes. Yeah, they were blokes. men all over the yeah, pitch. Blokes. Cavani plays for that team. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. God, Chucky really probably has to yeah, to be fair, 1940, <laughs> Chucky Mike. was already bench ball. Yeah. Like, <laughs> came in, didn't he? It's Mark Hughes, isn't it? Yeah, Mark yeah, Hughes. Hughes is out Listen, there. Yeah, we've got one long-haired one long shagger can yeah. play in this team and Sparky, let's face you'll facts. have to take a seat because he looks oh, good on a horse. I he was going to say long-haired shagger, Giggsy had to take a seat, but um, well, yeah, <laughs> let's said about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Men, yeah, so I was talking to someone upstairs before, one of the interns, too young to remember the 94 team. And I was trying to explain to him what made it so good. And it was Were they like, even alive then? No, absolutely not. Like oh. Five years from being alive. See, I was only five. Right. But, you know, it was the era where you record cup finals and things. Yeah. So then that video of the cup final. That's yeah, all you've got. I watched for six years. Like, yeah. right, right, consistently. Right. Like, Twice a week. It was like the 90, <laughs> 95, 96. Yes. Double winning team. Yes. I had the cassette of that. Like the VHS of the, yes. the season review. Yeah. I can remember so much about just from over mm. playing that tune, Beyond the Promised Land, the same, just kept playing it and playing it. Keno had one, didn't he? Called As I Am or something like that. He had a video. Well, yeah. that team. He yeah. had a video where he came out with his book. That 94 yeah. team we was talking about, you're like, this team, like that. Ch- we were talking about the Chelsea team, Joe. They're a bit ruthless and Joe. They keep clean sheets and absolutely bat here. Yeah. It was like, that 94 team, they didn't keep clean sheets, they'd bat here. But it'd be free too, mm. because they were mental for it, mm. and they were they were it was en- four four fucking two. As yeah, well. as yes. <laughs> it was one it every game, no matter what. <laughs> right, we're playing. I don't know in the Champions League. Yeah, four four two. Yeah, we've got a must win game four four two. Yeah. It was it. funny though, and it's always the same eleven, isn't it? Have you seen the, Have yeah. you seen the appearances for those players? Have you seen it's like Schmeichel six there, Bruce six there, Pally sixty one. Well, well <laughs> like Maguire anyway. nearly broke Pally's record yeah. yesterday. Mm. Because he equaled Palace's record of 71 consecutive league games where he played That's every ridiculous. single minute. And the reason why I think he came back onto the pitch and tried to stay on the pitch was so we broke that record because I yeah. think he's aware of Take it. Take a minute to break that now. Can I, yeah, can I, just, yeah, um, can yeah. I just say, from that, that, that game, that team in 1994, Schmeichel 60 appearances, Denny Sermon 61, Steve Bruce 61, <laughs> right? Gary Palace 60, Paul Parker letting the side down with 50, 55. Disgrace. Absolute, Absolute part-time shambles. shambles. <laughs> 55. 55. What's all we are? Only a game a week. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Paul Parker was the bollocks as well. For Gary he, Neville came He along. would have done 15k a game and all. Yeah. Mate, he was the Duracell bunny of that such line. Proper underrated, was. isn't it? Mate, have you ever he, seen He didn't it? have a first gear. You need he to just get, ran around in fifth gear. You need to get him on a watch along. Have yeah, you ever seen him on a watch along? See when he does the Arsenal one. And he's scored. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsenal, and he kicked off. <laughs> well, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't like Arsenal, does he? <laughs> That's how you do it. You know his brain's working. <laughs> that was, have you seen how there's these people that do like watch alongs for every game? Yeah, yeah. No matter yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. So we do a watch along. So imagine now we just got together for every. Like, oh, nah, mate, Arsenal honestly. played today. That's how we'd be. Yeah. Because you're not going to have any enthusiasm mate, for like Leicester versus Brighton. Oh, yeah. They've just scored. Yeah. Like, why yeah. did. Why, <sighs> I know it's the game's the game and you got to get your views Mate. up, but fucking stop Come begging on. it, you cunts. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's not about that, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, um, but that team, how that man's it is, team. Look how many George Crosses are in that team there. <laughs> Go on, Go on let, me, let me have a look here. Yeah. Look, especially the bottom half. It's Read the bottom. Yeah. Read from bottom up. Right. So Neil <laughs> Whitworth. <laughs> Neil Whitworth. <laughs> Keith Gillespie. Who's, oh, wait, it's actually Northern <laughs> Ireland. Sorry. Oh, John O'Kane, Ben Thornley, David Beckham, 
he's not got any appearances. Gary Neville, Chris Casper, Gary Walsh, Paul Scholes, Mickey Feeling, Craig Lawton. Terry Welsh. Cook in that team? No, I don't see him. He uh, was in the 96 team, didn't yeah, he? Because he played cool. against Villa. Lee Martin, no, Dion no. Dublin, Nicky Butt. Then you've got a couple of Scots in there, Darren Fergus, Colin McKee, then that's when it starts getting like Sir is a block. Oh, off. yeah. It gets really like foreign. Cosmopolitan here, like, yeah. Roy Keane, Les Sealy, Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs. How Welsh is he? I know. <laughs> from Swinton. It's about as Welsh as I am. Ryan Wilson. Yeah, exactly. He was called, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. Sick yes. guy. What a mad guy. We have to call What's him that. Shocky's record that year? 19 games. Six goals, though. To How be many fair off the with. bench is that, though? That's there? a good record, that one. 19 19? I don't know. I think they've messed up there. Nah, 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 19. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. What's in the brackets? <laughs> Appearances and then in the brackets. This sub- is great view for the people. Sorry, yeah, Talking about watch of games 19, that you don't care about. Um, it right. started 19 and he came off the bench 19. No, 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 Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Fucking hell. Um, so Are Kibane, you still drunk? No. I know. Just, he's just giddy, in it? Uh, Cavani stain On that thumbnail, it says a sponsor's pulled out Mate, as well, right? We need to talk about how I watched that Chelsea game last week. What Chelsea, Chelsea game? game. Oh, fucking hell. Not on air, though. Right. Chelsea game. That's even better last for you. That's even better for you. Let's talk about something, but not on air. Did we play Chelsea last week? No, we didn't no, play Chelsea. He watched, the, he watched the Chelsea game home. Oh. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to know. Right. Um, <laughs> that's even better for you. Got a great story. Oh, we're not going to share it with you. It would have been great viewing. Right. Um, do I want to know? Is it going to get us? No, you do want to know, but I'll tell you in a bit. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's <laughs> Best for all parties involved, <laughs> isn't it? For those with jobs that want to keep them behind the scenes and for us clowns. <laughs> um, yeah, sponsors pulling out. Well, yeah, I've had, a, mes- I've had a message of someone. I, know, I never pull out. Sort of wild Who dead. Says, <laughs> I was about to say mate. something wild dead. <laughs> Who says, um, <sighs> Melita, apparently. Who? Is, that, is it Melita? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the coffee sponsor of Manchester United. I've had a meeting and they're pulling out their sponsorship deal with Manchester United. See, I'm loving the sound of all of this. And I right. hope all the sponsors are saying to United, it's because your fans hate you. Yeah. Like, but a part of me is sceptical and thinking they're finding an excuse to withdraw because of the finances surrounding it. Could be a bit of that. With, with, with the COVID and that. Um, but then I'm sure there'd be a lot of terms and conditions which maybe you can't just pull out like that. So, so it must be like a, a PR um, clause in the contracts of sponsors. Can you imagine like... Because my pro team pulled out the other day, didn't they? Yeah. We're the first ones. Apparently. Imagine there was like a big nonce scandal like it was at City. Jesus or at Crew. Something like that. Right, well, are you they saying this doesn't out happen? <laughs> right? Are you saying that doesn't happen? Because it absolutely happens. Now, you as a sponsor... Fucking hell. Tell us your story about the Chelsea match, after all. Yeah. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Let's get off this song. I... <laughs> Are we keeping it on the fat lab? All right, come. All right. right, yes. So Let's I reckon, I can't remember what the clause is, but I've seen it. I've seen it in one of our contracts, which is like, like it's a, it's basically a negative <laughs> for press clause, isn't it, essentially? Yeah. And I reckon all of our sponsors have gone, mm, there's an exit door. Yes. Whereas ringing up and saying, hey, I'm skinned after the pandemic's not in any contract that you can do. So I reckon that's probably happened. You calm down now. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> People are talking about me being on the kickoff. Ba- the kickoff's loads of different fans, though. Ah, it's not. It's not a group uh-huh, of yeah. four United fans watching no. other well, yeah, games. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like there's some jeopardy there. There's a Liverpool fan that City watches every Chelsea. game. Is United and Roma? Is City and, and I Chelsea. guess you get some good reactions because he obviously just doesn't like watching United. There was some I good reactions this weekend. That. though. I couldn't do it. When that. I hate doing United I couldn't games. do it. I hate I, it. Like, I could do what's over with us, obviously, but I couldn't sit there with like a Chelsea fan. I hate if it. we get beat. You see, when like, that nah, day when, that. when we lost 6 1 against Spurs. Didn't you fuck off for a bit? I was about to. F- yeah, I wanted I to fight everyone. <laughs> like, I suppose. Especially when Marcel got that red card. Like, yeah. And you've got people giggling next to you. Like, no. laugh. Not like, giggling. You are going to fight, aren't you? Not giggling. You're just going to go. Forget, laughing yeah, in your this. face. Forget Not whatever I've signed. Yeah. In your face, bro. It's would good you not though. Senses, would you not think Because like, I did it back to them. I did it back to them. Like, little split second. When, I've already thinking. got my video lined up for just the Champions League final. So wrap this chair I've got my thumbnail head. ready. <laughs> how it feels to lose a Champions League final. So whichever one loses, like I'll be in a bastard's it face. Right. Hopefully you know it'll mean? be... Uh, uh, it'll be the City fan. Oh, please. Please. I pray to God. I know, mate. Any, I never thought I'd say this, but I hope Chelsea win the Champions League. Uh, we've got a couple of super chats. Oliver Smith says, please get Rashford on five. That's one of your things, isn't it? Um, I'll leave that with him. Uh, Abdullah Ibrahim says, my opinion, the 94 team was the most entertaining. The 08 team was the best technically. And the 99 team had a nice balance of both. All three were brill. Facts. You know that sentence, yeah? I agree with all that. Do you? Mm. They made football entertaining. 
Yeah. Talk about the, the City team being the great entertainers. I've seen that. They're not the way they. No. It's Win, boring. Winning 6-0 is not entertaining. This ain't even the best City team. No. Win 3-2. No. You know the last couple of... Pets. About the one that got promoted against Gillingham. With Dickoff. Paul in Dickoff. Nicky Weaver. And we were busy hey. with Trevor. Who was the other guy? Morrison. Oh, you know Paul Dickoff? Players. Have you ever met him? Yeah. Without I think I did an old impressor once. All right. Without meeting him, what do you think he is as a person? Con Shot. Nice. Can Where we keep this on the right side of legal? Yes. Right, I'm, I'm just saying. Listen to where I'm going right, here. Okay. Listen to where I'm, I'm going. just pre-empting anything going. your mind might think. Listen. And you might voice. So, Steve, Paul Dickov as a player, you think he's got to be a wanker, isn't he? Right. Met him. Oh, here we go. Nicest he person ever. Well, he's not right. nice, is he? He was sound. Right. right. He's better than Trevor Sinclair. This sounds that's like... Not, that's not a high bar, is and it? The that's same like day, saying, you know... The same day I've not met Richard Dunn. Nice. Right, this sounds like a line on... Uh, would I lie to you? Yeah, <laughs> I met. <laughs> I did not make Richard done. And I injured Park G Sung. It does actually what? sound like that, doesn't it? You're horrible, you. How can you injure you Park G Sung? You footed me. Do you know? <laughs> Saying that, you were the guy that when we took you to wheelchair football with Wes Brown, you started ramming in at people. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. He was, and then got up out of his chair and started dancing when he scored. It was so embarrassing. You were Danny <laughs> <laughs> in your face, <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I was like, Maka, man, what are you doing? Um, they won't be inviting us again. And funnily enough, they haven't. That was like two years ago. Do you remember Danny Tieto? Yes, I, I remember, remember him. I remember, the I remember him fighting with Kevin face. Keegan on the touchline. Yeah, he was a right see. bastard on the, on, the, on the pitch. He had shitloads of red cards as well. Yeah, he was horrible. So I thought, you must be a proper chopper, you. Yeah. Ended up having a, a few drinks with him once and uh, sound fella. He looked really? sound. See, in that picture, he looked sound. Danny Tiao. Is that Danny Tiao? Yeah, he had the really shit goatee right. as well. At the time. Right, that looks like a sound fella. Yeah, it does. It looks like that. That is my manscaped. But that looks like a sound fella. Yeah. It's weird that, isn't it? Because sometimes you meet people like Vincent Company sound. Like, I hated him when I was interviewing him. I was like, fucking Vincent Company. But he's proper sound. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People, eh? <laughs> <laughs> some of them are sound, some of them are wankers. When I met Roy Keane, who I love, he told me to fuck off. Yeah, but I won. And I was only experience. 14, and I, I loved it. Hey, don't worry about it. You'll get it. that experience. Yeah, you ever meet him? You'll get that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to ask him for an interview, yeah. and he's going to say fuck, fuck off. off. And I'm going to say, Keno, you've thank just you, made me. Thank you. Cheers, Keno. <laughs> well, I didn't want yeah. to. <laughs> but the best thing about that was when, when we met him in Altrincham, my mate, we were all got Keno and Lee, Lee Sharp. Lee Sharp was sound. Keno was like, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off and my mate, right, who's half Irish, he had a Black United kit on with Keno on the back, and he turned around, he went, Roy, look, look. And he went, I said, fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Fucking do Who do you think's most like that as a player now? <laughs> Roy Keane still. <laughs> 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 you know, like everyone's so saying, even like, even uh, Mickey Richards have a right laugh. I bet he don't. You know, I, I sometimes Roy Keane thinking that. like, sitting there just thinking, <laughs> fucking weapon. I think he's just thinking it's a paycheck. <laughs> just shut right, the fuck that's up. That's it, yeah. This shit. Take what are you filming before on your phone? That's the way we got to get him, you know, pay him. Let's do a gig. Yeah. Oh, can we get him for like a dinner? But then it's just us two there. <laughs> All right, Roy. I love you, Roy. He comes expecting to do a Q&A and he just... Just does it. Hi, Roy. How's your peas? It's like... It's like <laughs> <laughs> the missus will be here in a minute with the dinner. Don't worry. <laughs> what? What the fuck? What do you want from delivery? Start talking. <laughs> Start talking. That's what I paid for. <laughs> Go. Oh, man. <laughs> I, 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 I would happily do that. Like, that would be meant. Could, could so, Manscaped... Yeah, go on. Right. <laughs> talk about that. It'd be a right video. And it's literally just right dinner with him. Yeah, just in your house, yeah. having dinner with him. That would be me. On a tray in your living room as well, not even at a table. <laughs> just sit next mouth. to him like that. <laughs> <laughs> like dead clothes. Dead clothes on the couch. Yeah. Like I like can that. feel the heat on his leg. <laughs> and he's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hear it. Oh, uh, hey, you, you got Bush? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got bush, ain't ya? You dirty dog sat at home. Well, I've got something that can help you get rid of that bush, yeah? Antinic technology, that means it's bad boy. Don't give you any little cuts down there. Don't snip your skin. Oh, God, what's going on there? None of that stuff. Because Antinic technology, got a light. It's got a light. See that? Lovely little light. So when you're in doing my gooch, as Steve does, have they given us that for a discount code No, yet? we're still waiting on our discount Come code on. to be Doomy Gooch. Doomy Gooch. The discount code today is devils20. Manscaped.com. Get an exclusive. I can't read all of that. So what do they get <laughs> with that code? Because the camera's in the way. 20% off plus free shipping. Manscaped.com. Devils20. Remembering, if you buy a perfect package 
or a performance package. You get some free gifts as well. You get a nice little travel bag, which is worth about $50 or something like that. I got one at home. It's class. I put everything in there. Yeah? But listen. I'm not giving up. And you, my Muslim brothers at home as well. I know you boys, you got to keep it trim under there, down there, all that. Eid's coming up. Manscaped, bruv. Trust me. <laughs> Whatever. You do in your armpits, your bum, your gooch, your balls, his head, his head. Your knuckles. No, you can't use it for your dad. You can't use I it for your dad. Okay, you're not allowed to use it on your head. Um, I mean, what are you going to do? Break your door down? No, I'm just it's saying not it's door not... raid, is it? No, I'm not saying legal. Not right. It's not legal, illegal. I'm just saying it's not recommended. I'm not going to tell people to use something on the head that they shouldn't. Don't tell Use it for your balls. I'm not going to tell them to use it. Devils20manscape.com. Do me hairy knuckles. No, you don't do that because that's going to grow back. I need one bloke. Richard like, we played like obviously us Indian boys are hairy out here. Do you know what I mean? Um, one of my friends, he was Indian boy as well. He shaved his arms, bro. Why? I remember thinking, "What are you doing, you muppet?" Was he getting a tattoo? But the only reason I called him a muppet was he didn't use Manscaped. Ah, oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Nice, nice. And he shaved if his he arms. did done that, it'd be all right. But yeah, um, I know boxers and that have to do it, and UFC oh. fighters because you have to be oh, streamlined, right. don't you? All right, nice. <laughs> you know where that's from. <laughs> Pineapple Express. <laughs> but manscaped.com, Devils20, Antonic that? Technology, you know. you get, oh, I also got this ball deodorant they give me. <laughs> ball deodorant. I've noticed you've been spelling a lot nicer lately. Like. Is that what it is? Ball deodorant. You, you breathe when you're down there. I have a little <laughs> If you like me. I thought you held your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Giving away all our secrets here, man. Steve, have you used one of them yet? What? Ball you deodorant? Used, you used that. Oh, the manscaped. Have you done your gooch? Come on, man. I haven't done my gooch with this. So I was minute. trying to get that you know. We're going to get like a number four down there, I reckon. Bro, got to get a bit closer to that. Come on, do you need a number four? I yeah, like man. to braid nah, it. It's all gone now. You're going to braid it? You're going to braid it. Yes. Like it. Nice. But yeah, manscaped.com. Thank you to Manscaped. Absolute legends. Um, and thank you to sponsor for sponsoring us. You need to do it as well. You need um, to do it. Also, we've got a super chat from Ian Hamilton says hi guys great laugh as usual one for Adam and Stephen with AJ versus Fury getting announced this week will you both do watch alongs this will be huge are you gonna what is it I, I'm a big fan of both I'll be doing I'll be doing something for it um, and I'll try to drag him in um, my heart do I have to do it in says John, AJ John for your advice my head says Fury uh, yeah John Fury it's high night yeah that'd be mint if you do that what pop, pop, got, bang. Pop, 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 bang. But you know what happens when floor. Fury's fighting? Sometimes John don't go and he does TV <coughs> gigs and stuff. Does it? Should we try and get him? Yes. Yeah. Are you, if you get him, are you going to do your impression of him to him? Yeah. <laughs> no. And I'm going to not, not stand there when he does that. Listen, yeah. Not going to break not character in the entire yeah. night. <laughs> when he John, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Eats You're a man face. and a fighter and a gentleman. <laughs> Stephen, nice to meet you as well. You are also a gentleman. Thank you, John. You be the, two are a to gentleman. Be fair, you that, political bastards. To be fair, that wouldn't be the most embarrassing thing he's done in a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about halfway in when I slip into my normal voice to ask for a brew. And he's like, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Taking a piss. What are you talking about that for? By the way, it's cold in here. So thank yeah, you. He's put thank the, God Manscaped is sponsored us. Because we can put a five in the in gas meter. Listen. It was too warm. Jesus Listen. Christ, I drank that much rum on Saturday. Still, <laughs> I'm still hungover. <laughs> I'm freezing my balls off. I, mean, I, 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 would, I would trim my pubes right now, but it shriveled up so much, I'll probably think it's a pube. What is wrong with you? Why are you always red hot? I'm fat, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like insulation. <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, Fair enough. I can't argue with that, son. If that's the reason. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I've not seen you for ages, Maka. Huh? I feel like I've not seen you for ages. Don't worry, it's about 500 games this week. I was, I was, I was with you last week, wasn't I? Yeah, that's what I mean, though, because usually we're... I didn't do the Villa every, game, every that's why, yeah. Every yeah. So I, gonna I, ask to, you, I had to do the Villa fan yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get, get that in there before there one you of you go. That's getting clips up. Look, it's proof, it's evidence. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you if you'd seen... Dab did you watch the Derby game? Um, the Derby Rooney game? Yeah. Um, I didn't watch it. I was driving up to like London, so I was listening to it on the radio because I was doing the kickoff on Saturday. No. Um, Kick off friends. Didn't have real with me though. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, we, it, so I was driving up to there, but I was listening to it and I was buzzing for Wayne Rooney. And what I loved was he came out after and he wasn't happy. I know. He was just like, yeah, all the mess upstairs. Yeah. We need to sort this out and this out. And Can't that have out. this again. And I thought really, but the one thing that would concern me is the last, I think, 15 or 16 games, only like 10 points. 
the first 16 or 17 games, they got like 30 points. I might be wrong in the exact points, but they got most of their points in the first half of his games. Yeah. So was that the new manager jump? Can he do it? Is it unfair to expect him to do it with this squad? You look at what Frank Lampard had there. He had Tamori and Matt. He also lost Tem- uh, Tedemengi as well, who yep. was doing pretty well for him. Yeah, really well for him. Um, and, you know, centre back to the isn't it? I've got 18-year-old centre-half. But you, if he can stay, if, if Rooney stays there... He'll Tedden probably should, go back yeah, there next that's year. That's got to be the first option on the cards for Tedden. And if you keep going at Sadly, Forest, yeah. you've Sadly got to bow to it at the weekend. I mean, yeah, he did lose six. Six on the spin. I think he lost, if unless my missing something there, yeah, towards the end of the season. And that draw kept him up, obviously. So it all went wrong, but it seems like it was a bit of a shit but show. But at one point, Rotherham were winning from the eighth minute. Yeah. And they conceded in the 88th. And that's what meant Derby stayed up. Yeah. Also, if Sheffield Wednesday when Derby go down, yeah. I think one of the teams in the bottom six had six in bottom three had six points deducted. So if they that didn't Sheffield have Wednesday six had points, points deducted, yeah. Deduction. So if they didn't have points yeah. deducted, then um, so they would have gone. <laughs> so everything is pointing to the yeah. fact that they maybe should have gone down. Yeah, but he kept them up. That's and his job done, isn't it? Um, the, the ownership issues are issue there. I like to see him succeed there. I would, obviously, because we all love Wayne Rooney. And like, let's have, like, no one's really got anything against. I'll be honest it. with you. I want him to quit football, like managing ASAP, so I can get an interview with him. It's harder to get interviews when they're in the game. And if have you, you ever, do, have you ever a bit spoke to him? Shit. Um, I haven't, no. Waza. I want Waza. He's decent. I didn't even know a couple of times when he was Because I reckon he'd be good now. Right. He's left United and that. But even when he was at United, he was all right, you know. People think he's dead bl- bland and beige, but he's not. I think he's, he's doing something. He doesn't really care. I think he's here in the summer. Oh. Oh. Exclusive. Possibly. Mm. But yeah. I mean, like we saw, we sort of the thing with Rio and that I want to watch the rest of that when they get home. It looks good. Yeah, yeah. Start, is that with him and Marcus? Stuff, yeah. yeah, I was watching a bit. Truly like good. Um, but Waz is one of them. He's up there, isn't it? He's talking about that. interviews. We got the Giuseppe Rossi one coming soon. I don't yeah. know when we're going to put that. Huh? Well, not posted that yet. Do you know what happened? He though? did it the week you, after yeah. he left. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Villarreal. <Yeah. laughs> Good luck. Max in his uniform <laughs> from school. It's my work experience. We did it, and then. Something happened, something to do with... And it would have been so weird to put it up that week and then people and not going, mention the yeah, Super League. Why have you not asked him And that? we put up a really good Academy review that week and it got like no views. Poor Dave Pritt message me. Like, and it, what have we done wrong? Yeah, and it was like <laughs> basically not spoken about the European yeah, Super League. Because it brought that day, didn't it? Uh, but no, it is a good interview. With just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, you can get your own from manscaped.com. Um, uh, with, a, with a coupon code do me gooch no, or that's the devil's, next, that's the devil's 20 coupon devil's code for 20, uncensored yeah. devil's 20 I got a right spot there that's a bindi that innit let's say bloody oh, hell yeah. oh yeah bloody hell showing my roots Shocking. Um, what did you make of the Joel Glazer apology <laughs> thing fuck Joel Glazer thank you um, load of bollocks yeah half hearted you know what if they if they said something and done something and acted upon something like that at the yeah. start, I think a lot of people would have been like, they're wankers, but but what can, like, yeah. they're trying. I saw someone, and I don't know if it's sarcasm because I don't know the person, who was like, you've seen their apology, you can tell they're trying to do the best for the club, and I was like... See, this is where... I, f- I know. If you, if you care, you don't ignore a journalist asking you, for a statement for Man United fans. Yeah. And you'd also if all you barricade care, the stadium in either. If you care, and I, I used a quote in my video, I can't remember the exact quote, but when they arrived in 2005, they said, we will be communicating with fans. Fans just want to hear what's going yeah. on. They're the lifeblood of the club, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. We didn't hear from them until the European Super League fell through. And even to that, be fair, it's only 16 been 16 years. years. <laughs> Give them a chance. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Stop, show a bit of patience. Did hey. we even hear from them though? Or no. did someone write that and no. he goes... There's no way. Name on yeah, there's no way. I don't think he read it. I don't, honestly, I think someone went, we've got a statement for you. He was like, right, yeah, fine, whatever. You know, I think we don't... You know what's mad? And I think... I think this about... I think this about governments and that sometimes, yeah. Like, I think when we... If we realised how little of a fuck they cared about people, we'd get some of their decisions. And it's the same with... Um, it's the same with, with the Glazers. If we realised how little of a fuck they gave about us, yeah. we probably wouldn't even be asked. Because I don't think they actually care. I don't think they do. It's just just money. That's it. Like it's we think money. We think pure like, and simple. Like governments and billionaires and all that. They'll be like, oh yeah, we need to look after people. No, no. They don't bro, they, if they could no. press a button which would kill us all, they do it. Well, they they go like yeah. <laughs> and leave motherfucker on. 
Do you know what I mean? It's a good prop, that. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped.com, Devil's 20. Do me gooch. <laughs> Do me gooch. Are we going to ask what you're doing? No. Nope. Right, okay. <laughs> let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you about, it's on my list. I've got it on my laptop. Got a lot of games coming up, haven't we? We have. Yeah. Talk that... Um, like, like this week? This week. I'm at... Diallo. Oh, you're talking about that? What is it? Paddock FC. No, we're not talking about Paddock FC. No, I'm not. Why would I do that? Um, I'm at Diallo. Shola, Shola Tere, maybe. And Neil Anger. Any of them lot? Shola's going to play. Do you reckon we're going to see Do you imagine that? Shola's not playing. What do you reckon? Old school garage banter there. Yes. Hey, imagine. Sorry. I fucking hate these idiots. There's no point even doing this show. What were we talking about? I was asking you about Shola. Oh, serious fucking business this week. I'm at Diallo. Who is getting the booze? No, it's not. It's going to be Diallo. Diallo and James will play, I think. What about Ilanga? Yeah, and Neil Ilanga. New yeah. deal and all that. Yeah. Well, I'd be surprised if he's scoring does. recently, scoring some worldies. You know what the thing is? Maybe your mate. What about him? Zidane's not going to play yet. Why not? Holding him back. You know That's why. So <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> Straight away. Let's move on. Wow. <laughs> he's not even really signed his deal last week. <laughs> Already. That contract's false alarm, mate. Um, so he's a diversity hire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like him. <laughs> <laughs> give, him, give, him a, give him a rolling contract. Um, that one. Now no, no, the other one. There's yeah. a lot of squad players that don't get game time, so it's like... One matter. To, Daniel James, one matter, like all these men. I forget about one matter. One matter came on the other day. So did Oli. Oli won't get now. Oh, oh shit, you play. He, yeah. he had a difficult time, though, didn't he? Why? Yeah, he lost some family issues. Yeah, he lost the dad, so, I think. So. And, uh, there's rumour he's going to go to Italy. To wow. go. Oh. I mean, it's the Premier League retirement. I he's going to fuck it up. He will fuck it up. And I reckon... He likes us. Right. So when we go see McCabe. Ah, uh, you mean you? You mean us? Us. Right, right. He yeah. is we. Yeah. Not yeah. like him. No. He you know, fucking likes me. He cuddled the fuck out of me, me in is Singapore. We. Right. Cuddled me. Did he have a choice in that, time, moment, mate? in that cuddle? Um, yeah, he did. But and he, was, he remembered my name. It was consensual. <laughs> so, so that's important. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was reciprocal and consensual. <laughs> I can just imagine you just like looking at him like that. Matt has no, legs hanging like, out yeah. the bottom like a yeah. two fucking See toothpaste like fucking no. thing. That was Brian Robson. Oh, oh mate, that Brian Robson story <laughs> is my favorite story <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Go on, you can't say that. Can we say it's just, we told this, I think yeah, we've I told it. we tell it, tell it every month on we'll this podcast. Tell it again, then. But the views are going up, so let's tell it again. We're in Singapore. We're in this bad boy hotel. Yeah, where the team's staying. Yes, we get back late. Yes. I think it might have been the same night as Dentley. You just see him doing a belly button Photoshop. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. That's what Premier League piss takes. <laughs> Can't cope with your lack of concentration. That's what Premier League piss takes. It's not my lack of concentration. So remember the night of Dentley? On the ball. Yeah, the Dentley. So we got back in about two, three o'clock. Um, and we're walking in now to this hotel. As we're waiting for the lift, guess who we see? Getting in the lift. Mr. Robert De Niro. Yes. <laughs> Robert, <Bella. laughs> Robert De Niro, Brian Robson, and Dennis Irwin. <laughs> so they get into this lift. You missed the Phoenix Knights joke, you prick. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> right. Let him, just let him, let him speak for seven seconds. He's um, just figured it out, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, and then... As we're getting in this lift, obviously we're all getting the lift together. Yes. Our floor is the first one we get to. Right. So we, I say as, I had the room. We get there, we're walking out into the thing and we've gone to them two. Lads, Dennis, Brian, cheeky drink with us or what? You're yeah, coming. Yeah, nice. And they've gone, no, no, no. Steve's grabbed Brian Robson, grabbed a hold of him and we were now Bob playing England, tug of war with Dennis Irwin Brian Robson Mate. in the middle and Steve and this lift trying to shut and we're like come on just come for a drink with and us and I got some back on me and all and Steve <laughs> Steve's planted his feet in the ground and just held on to it <laughs> 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 then his let go of Brian Robson got flying into the nah, that bit never happened what? but 
<laughs> we were having a tug of war with him, Captain Marvel and Dennis Irwin. Can we not contact that old soul? See if we've got any security <laughs> footage. <laughs> 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 We'd we know which day it was. We'd be able to figure out which day it was. Like, I would pay good money to see that, to see you in a tug of war with Dennis Irwin <laughs> and Brian Robson. It was, it was class. That is legendary, um, honestly. Um, brilliant. Brian Robson. Brian Robson, is, he is a nice guy as well. He follows me on Twitter. He's he he my first shoot I ever did with a player. Yeah. Was with Andy Cole and Brian Fucking Robson. Fucking Talk about starting a bit high. I was shitting myself. Two of my favours. Couldn't well. talk properly or nothing. Yeah. And then got talking to Brian Robson. Because yeah. I'm from Birmingham. His wife from there, innit? Because he played right, for West Brom. Right. So that's where our connection ah, was, innit? Um, nice. And uh, yeah, he, 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 he liked me and then he followed me on uh, Twitter. Nicely done. Um, good stuff. Uh, Ro- Roger Melly, welcome to the first team. Um, Kyan Foster says, I missed my first super chat, lad. Sorry. I'll try and oh, no. I saw it. Yes. Um, Respect each other. Yes, we will do. Um, <laughs> Tayas Buller says, guys, if the Glazers cleared a debt the next two years and start investing in the club and Old Trafford, would you all keep them? Or would yeah, you and all I've got a 32-inch waist, gone? mate. Uh, Oliver Smith says, did you see what Boovy said on the kickoff? And that's one for you, that bro. I don't know. What? Which, which bit? Because yeah. he got so many things wrong. He went, another goal for Aguero. Aguero missed the penalty, literally seconds later. He went, we're, too, we're out to Kellen. Tukal, whatever it's Tuchel. How do you say his name? Tommy Tuchel. Tommy Tickles. He goes, we're out tickling, tickler. And then they scored. <laughs> wow, I thought you hate that. We've all done them ones, though. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Like, I, feel, I, don't like, like, I don't know the guy, but, no, but I, feel, I, I have done them ones before. Seconds were, Seconds were in it. Seconds were in it. Yeah. Right. right. And us on a penalty. You're out the door. I'm going, yeah. Bruno's missing this. Yeah. He's out of nowhere. And he, he goes, he, is like, he goes, another goal for Aguero. <laughs> Why? Why, going, son? Why do that to yourself? <laughs> Don't dig, do it. He dicked it into the goalkeeper's hand. That was the worst penalty ever as well, wasn't it? Like, oh, yeah, that don't come off. You just look Is like a puppet. Is that or Berbers in the semi-final? You know what I hated as well? Mate, that was a pass back. I felt proper sorry He's for Berber it. after that. I no. had to defend him so hard that no. day. You know how mad I, I get with Marshall and defending him? Yeah. I was the same with Berber. I remember that. Everyone was going berserk, weren't it? Uh, DSBJ says, is Charlie McNeil really as good as Mason? Also, any chance of seeing Shola tomorrow? That guy is flying with the under-23s. Uh, we're doing a watch-along, actually, with under-23s over on Twitch tonight, if you're interested in that, by the way. Twitch. Twitch. I think with McNeil. McNeil Twitch um, more like, with his lot on it. Doesn't come across nice. as... Hey. So you've done us there. You've <laughs> <laughs> done us there, mate. Hey, did you hear what he said there? Quality. Shut up while I'm explaining. <laughs> right, Charlie McNeil, I would say, isn't as like refined as Mason. Mason had this like confidence, quality to his play, it's where it was like majesty. very much everything he did was deliberate. Yes. Like when he beat this player, when he scored that goal, when he played that pass, everything was like deliberate. Whereas when it's... Charlie McNeil, it's like, I don't know, it's like one of those, he's weirdly, I've, I've extremely chat, effective. He's extremely effective, but I I just don't see the, like, the foundations in his game that you saw with Mason. He And he's also extremely skinny, but so was Mason in his first season. If they get him on some weights, because he's only just come at it from, was it Sunderland we got him from? He's hey, only just come hey. from McNeil. No, McNeil came Hugo from, from Hugo him. Came Hugo was... Uh, oh, yeah, so, yeah, sound. so I think if he gets on the way, the thing is... Yeah, well, yeah, I've just remembered now. He just draws them on. <laughs> just draws an aggro. He'll be fine. Uh, hey, there's a the story. Fuck it out. I just remembered he's from draws them. That's a great story. Don't worry story. about him. He's skinny. He'll be fine. He's got um, that, like, crackhead strength. If, if, the, if you're a footballer from Steve's town... He will don't, be heading to your don't, DMs. Don't. <laughs> oh, that's one of the worst moments of my life. And I'm really? not exaggerating. Really? I can do three more today if you want. <laughs> no. I was like looking at it going. He doesn't give a I fuck. I know he doesn't. I don't love it. I want to be like that. I don't. I care too much. <laughs> you end up getting in trouble. Uh, <laughs> what? From what? Messaging children. No. <laughs> it's illegal. It literally is. No. Try and bang him, Jay. <laughs> it's a fucking good luck. <laughs> He's gonna need. There, you know there's a difference, you, right? to be honest. You know there's a difference. You know there's a difference, isn't it? I just good luck. Yeah, listen, I just watch this. Silly rule. I Ch- don't right, message children. Right, it's just, I'm weird. Don't trust himself. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Adam, yeah. I can say. Watch hey, this, right? Adam I'm gonna role play it for you. I can say, hey Adam, good luck, right? Cheers. Steve. That doesn't yeah. mean I want to be inside him. <laughs> but we when know how you feel about him for their address. That's when he gets weird. You can't say shit like that. 
Have you, you got, that, what's your address? I'm just that, getting in the car. That just means it <laughs> happened now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Steve did not um, ask for any children's no, addresses. Never, he's Instagram. never done that. Not yet. Um, who's your Wally of the Week? <laughs> Fucking hell, where do we even start? So it has week? to be Sergio Aguero, doesn't it? It's uh, got to be Aguero with it. Do you know it? why though? Not for the penalty, for the apology. <laughs> why is he apologising <laughs> with one of those statements? Well, obviously, never someone's written for him. Like, I'm really sorry and missed the penalty. Fuck off. Because Pep that his flight to Spain last night, by the way. You reckon? You reckon that was like... Get him out of my fucking team. Look at him. <laughs> What's he ever Ch done in the game? <laughs> Remember when Chikorito missed the penalty and Van Allen? <sighs> That's what happened, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That Van Allen was, was like that, though, wasn't it? Do you remember when uh, Fosu Mensah gave a penalty away? And yeah. that was like, he didn't play for us again. Yeah, it was like, fuck Like, off. literally subbed him, didn't he? Like, a minute later and was like, That's it. Yeah. You're out of my pocket. That was sad. That's sad. Uh, go on then. Who are you going with? You're going with Aguero. Are you going with uh, Maka? I think I went with Aguero, didn't I? Oh, sorry. Who are you going with? Steve? I kind of tend to agree. Yeah, you throw these on me like last minute. I don't get to fucking I mean, chance to feed. It happens Come every on. week. You've got you. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think about <laughs> Wally of the week. Oh. And you used to have a little list anyway. I only prep for like. vibe with five yeah, but because like, you know. I don't. I don't <laughs> prep enough that. European Cup medals at don't this table. Oh. Prep for anything. <laughs> right, while you're thinking of yours, I'll, I don't I'll, prep for I'll, anything. I'll, I'll, read, I'll read some super chats. Uh, Football Obsession says, House in McCola. What happened to Pod to Nowhere? I bloody loved it, Steve. Lads. Got out of lockdown. Yeah, got out of lockdown as well. Oh. And we can't make. If, if we could make a video together every week, Uncensored would be out every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this, again, so, so busy. <laughs> Such busy Joe guys. just said fingers crossed right. in our ears. Uh, Simon Gale says, I was head chef in the restaurant where Brian Robson had his 57th birthday meal. Top bloke. Met him a few times as well. It was his local in Chester Lee Street. Um, yeah, That's where we've got stuff. to find him now. Yeah, Chester Lee Street. Lives in Hale. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, Sidant Badam says, any chance we can get Ian Smith to come back and do a rant on 10 things? I, I suggested about this the, the other day, 100 reasons to hate the Glazers. Mate, he'd be good for that. He does all that, doesn't In he? the WhatsApp, but I think I ignored. I I, I struggled to believe it. I never really know what. Hey, did you watch the sword fight that I put down last night? Mate, what was that this about? Is why, this is how things get ignored. Special messages like, lads, do you think Ian should do I, I'm sure I replied to that. And I, then, I replied to oh, that. Oh, did you see the sword fight? Mad that, How it? did the guy with the sword lose the fight? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like me with a sword. That's why I don't have weapons. If you want to know about it, took off, mate, just fucking tweet me, I'll send it. Yeah. Tell you a secret. Most men with a sword don't know how to use it. Like, That's what right. the problem is. So what like happens me, is, me, me son, when he's got one of his soy sword. Enter scene, right? Yeah, There's a on. guy comes out of his house, I'm assuming, right? He's got a limp already, I noticed that. Um, and he's holding a sword. <laughs> And there's a guy fuming with like loads of blood coming out of his neck. The thing is, though, they have an actual sword fight. I right. said to Adam Patterson, can you edit the Pirates of the Caribbean music to it? Because it's a little bit comical, in it? I actually don't think either of them get hurt, seriously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of nicks, obviously, but like, considering that two fucking grown men had a sword fight, I think they're both fine. And they're not, we're not talking like... <laughs> me and him had a sword fight. 20 inch blades, mate. Me and him had a sword That's fight. That's different. Didn't That's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stretford Paddock on Twitch. Um, yes. I think it's twitch.com so, slash Stretford Paddock. We'll find out in about an hour. Um, <laughs> right. Make yeah. sure you watch it, please, because you know what? I told these lads, not sure about under 23 games on Twitch. So well, prove me know, wrong. Do you know why that is? Can prove I just me say, wrong. Can I just say why that is? We did mean they did the Academy review. We asked because people were saying about it, suggesting it. We said, do you want us to do one? Loads of people said, yes. Yeah, so we're going to give it a go. Me, Dave and Joe tonight. But Mac is right. Go show watch him. it, guys. Show They're putting him. in the effort. Show him. They're that putting in the he's effort. He's wrong and we're yeah, right. Yeah, no, no, no. I want to yeah. be wrong. Yeah. They're putting in the effort. They're going live tonight on Twitch. Go and watch it. 6.45 p.m. The game kicks off at 7. So they'll be with you until about 8.45, 9. Someone's um, already DM me said something in a sofa. No problem. So, yeah. Get on it. Strip for Paddock on Twitch. Prove me wrong. Subscribe to us if you can or follow it or whatever it's called over there. What's it called over there? Follow. And so you can do both, can't you? You're the, you're down with the kids. Come on, you must know this. He's I, down I'm with the kids. On Facebook. Remember. Come on. Down with the kids in right. their DMs. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Loads. Uh yeah, subscribe and follow to us on Twitch. And obviously scub subscribe here as well if you're not doing. Twitch.tv, sorry, not that com. Well, right, there we go. Yeah, we'll be up there in uh what is it, an hour and a half, whatever it is, two hours. Uh we do have a Facebook group apparently. It's for members, isn't it? So we do have a Facebook group. Someone just asked if we have a Facebook group. If you become a member, you can get the Facebook group. Nice. Um, Wally of the week, did you give one? No, I will give it as... Um, so we just I, Hold on, hold on a minute. Let's re revoke all of our Wally's of the weeks. 
Go on, go on. Come on, you use it. Come on. Okay. Go on. Fuck that off. I think I know where you're going, but... Joel Bastard Glazer, the son of a bitch. So it's an obvious one, but it's an obvious one for a reason. Stick your apologies up your fucking arse. He's taking piss out of us. Hey, come on. And um, winner of the week. Oh, Ste- oh. Ste- 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 Stevie Win- Bruce. Winner. Yeah. Stevie ever, Bruce. The inaugural award of the winner of the week is Steve. The Stevie Bruce. Can, award. He, can he do it again? Hey, imagine. Have you heard this? Go about on. 21 is coming. Don't. You've heard that. I have. I've heard it. Guess Mate, who they play next. Guess who they play next. Steve Bruce. Yeah. Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce can say. And then guess who to play? Go on. Danny Welbeck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I will guess who to play last Danny day. Danny Welbeck. Hands and mm-hmm. Guess who to play last day? Go on. Michael Keane. <laughs> <laughs> we're, scra- we're scraping here, lad. You know, Honestly, if United win the league this year, I'm just never coming back. Yeah, seriously. Like, it's, it doesn't get I don't any think my liver will Especially if Danny Welbeck, Michael Keane, and Steve Bruce were in for us. <laughs> Jesus wept. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? That's, that's like more unlikely than uh, when Leicester won it. Put some respect on Stevie Bruce's name, though. I love Steve Bruce. 19 goals in a season. Let's not forget that. Uh, this is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito says, just pre-ordered my golden green paddock kit, UTFP. Oh, yeah. That's, we get a kickback that's that? just okay. released. Go um, check that out. Um, and Conwell says, how's the bacon, did you say? Love that. How's the bacon, how's the did bacon? you say? Aye. Who's your player of the year this year, by the way? Obviously, we're still... Decisive game to go. The final, it could change everything. There's quite a few from there that are in the mix. Who's the nominees? Harry. Harry is a nominee. Bruno, Paul Beal, and Luke Shaw. Marcus just edges out, I think. Just, uh, misses out. Just misses out. If it was for what you did on half the pitch, he'd win. But he's not, so he doesn't. I agree with those. Um, I think I'd chuck Rashford in as a nominee, but I wouldn't expect yeah, him to yeah, get close to the top. Because his goal, you know, uh, involvement. Because I, I, I think it's 20... Well. It's 20, like 20, Bruno's got 20 27 goals, goals 14 yeah, assists or yeah, something. It's, it's, He's on for Lampard's record. So it's, well, yeah. Um, I'd probably, I'm probably <coughs> personally going to go with, and he's going to love this, with Shaw. Shaw, you ca- Shaw's been very good, but you can't give him it ahead of Bruno or Rashford or Pogba. Well, you could against ahead of Pogba. Not ahead. Or Harry Maguire. Harry uh, Maguire, well, Yeah. I don't know. I mean, actually, I'd put him ahead of Harry Maguire, but not ahead of Rashford. Or Bruno. Do you know what? <clears throat> I did. I did this argument the other week with someone on Twitter, and I actually said Bruno, but I don't know if that's just sort of base. Like, oh, I just feel Luke Shaw's already got one in his bank from for doing nothing, so he don't I deserve about that. Yeah, no, you're right, Bruno. We're not having him having it twice. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, seriously, that's embarrassing. It will just be Valencia, Luke Shaw, David De Gea, yeah, no, that one player that. of the year. Hey, it's, like when, it's like when Heinz won it, isn't it? Just, for just diving no, in on no, everyone. No, no, Heinz deserved it when he got it. Yeah. But you didn't, oh, you didn't get it again two years later. Forget that. No, we can't. You're right, Bruno. Just for our own sanity. Who are you going with? Jay Prod says... Uh, I think it's got uh, to be Marshall. Bruno, man. Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if you were Marshall. If Cavani I played full it. season... I'd love it if Cavani could have been it, by the way. He could have been. It, mm. Cavani's been sensational. Absolutely sensational, yeah, but... It, we we didn't start him until late because of the stupid quarantining rules, which, like, he came... Let me just put this into English for everybody, right? Yeah. So we signed Edison Cavani from France. He came and started his quarantine. At the same time that we signed him, Paul Popper went to France, played in France, came back from France and started playing again. English press said he had no chance. <laughs> 50 million down Expl- the Explain to me how, like... Cause yeah. if it's all right for one footballer, how is it not all right for another footballer? Oliver Edwards says Igalo. Uh, Gavin 99 <laughs> says Shaw, one Shaw, two Bruno, three Harry. I'm going to swap Shaw and Bruno around there. I'm right. I'm young with you. I'm I with hope Harry's back I, for the I, final. I, don't, I, don't, I can't. I At can't, the very sure. least. I'll be gutted for him if he missed that. I know. Like, because he, this year for him has been, it started off so bad. This, by, by year, I mean season. Yeah. It started off so bad. And then it kind of got worse and worse. And then it, it's just, improved and it showed no sign of letting up and he still has those moments but I think a little bit like wan is they just look weird on the ball sometimes so even when they do something right yeah, because it looked awful you're sitting there holding your breath like <gasps> oh. but actually what they did there was nothing wrong with it if you get do you get what I'm saying yeah 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 um, and I think they suffer from that a lot but I think Maguire's been great but I'd go you, ha- you have to give it I, I'd usually go to top goal scorer last year I gave it Martial who got it last year then? Uh, Shaw. No, Shaw got it the, the year before. Marsha got player's player. Bruno got player. All ah, right. 
Well, sure, there's just two, two seasons ago, wasn't it? Yeah, and it should have been Lindelof that year. No, it should have been Pogba. I'm with you now. It should have been Pogba that Me and, me and you've done this. Mad, I'm not doing bro. this again. You me, and you, me and you had this argument, right? Oh. Every week on the podcast that for was about Pogba, six Pogba months. Pogba led every start, didn't he? Yeah, he it, did. He was in the mix. He yeah. was definitely in the mix. My argument there was Lindelof was consistently seven across the Jose's time as well, where Pogba had like 10 nines in there. Yeah, and we did this week in, week out, and he did this, he did this to me. <laughs> Stuck his finger up to me. And, oh, fuck you, Lindelof. Oh, boring are you. Oh, it's because you, you lot, you lot, you lot all hate on Paul Bill Pogba, and we all know why. Yeah, Jay, yeah, I know yeah, why you hate yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm self-hating. <laughs> <laughs> Always talking about his hair. <laughs> and he's yeah. dancing. Dyes his hair blue. You're just jealous, And then aren't scores you? with it. <laughs> oh, um, God. Um, uh, Ian Hamilton says. Yes, Ian! I thought that's who you were going to go with. Uh, Wally of the week, simple, Keir Starmer. Fuck you Keir deserve Starmer. it when you lose Hartlepool to Boris. Oh, I tried to avoid being too political, but I agree with that one. Fuck um, Keir Starmer, right, okay. Labour's dead till right. he fucks off. Right. I think we should wrap it up there, anyway. Um, Fucking fed. <laughs> He's a fed. And that's not my issue with him. Yeah, He's just up. boring, Sorry, that's my um, problem. Download, I mean, not download. Download? What, what, what are you on about? Can you download Manscapes? <laughs> that's mint. They might have an app. It's an app. He just goes, yeah. <laughs> on your phone. Do you remember people? And if you've not, apps? you should. Look at me, I'm drinking a beer. Remember them apps? Why? Why, why not? Why? Why not? Wait, those are the sort of things my dad could do. Couldn't do that on a 3310, could you? <laughs> he still buzzes off that. <laughs> Look at this. Look. It's my phone. <laughs> well, watch, watch, watch. Hey, but then I put it down and it refills. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Sensational. <laughs> You know, Sensational right, yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's good that dad fans. Uh. Um, yeah. Um, what have you been up to while some people watch you? Premier League piss taking it. Yeah, tonight and um, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> well, that's the sort of enthusiasm. I usually get. share my videos in the community, so All yeah, right. just you know. go and check him out. What, what have you been doing with you, mate? Um, we've got oh, a video yeah. coming out in a minute. Oh. I think it's actually just gone live just now. Oh, Who's yeah. that with? Uh, with that Rio Ferdinand fellow that used to play Is for um, QPR. No, no. <laughs> oh, Anton's brother. Yeah. I remember him. I love the story where uh, he goes, he was sat next to um, Bobby Zamora. <laughs> and Bobby Zamora at... went to him, what the fuck are you still playing here? <laughs> <laughs> and he went, he went, hmm. I went home and retired. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, shout out Rio, go check out the podcast. That's cool. um, Rio still owes me an interview, so we'll be getting yes. that in the summer. Um, Jay is on, Jay Marty and Scotty and Marty and Scotty too. this week. Steve is there. Go check out the Green and Gold Paddock kits if you really want one. Go check out Paddock. Listen, FC's there's only a thousand and, and we've done and check out his channel already. Shut up. I've done that for you. <laughs> 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 Subscribe to Stretford Paddock. Uh, we've got Premier League Piss Take coming at seven. Um, about the same time. Yeah, that's time that well, haven't we? Thanks for that. Um, when <sighs> maybe. Can, can, can we put a piss take early? We'll, we'll try. He's, we'll try to accommodate he's, both. He's deep in the edit and he's not pulling out. That's what she said. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you to Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Paddock 20. Devil's 20? Devil's 20. Devil's 20. Bye. <laughs>